Right. All right, cool. Well, thanks so much for joining me um, for Monday's lighter C2, I guess is what we're going to call it. If you do have blocks, go ahead and feel free to drag them on out. If not, don't worry. Um, just know that if anything pulls a little too much back off, you can bend your knee and I'll tell you when that is. But if you do have blocks, feel free to whip them out. If you have jars of peanut butter or whatever you want to use around the house, that'll be great too. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start our playlist. It's that silly March, it's an oldie but a goodie, March 2 with the swirl and the ohm symbol. Go ahead and start that now. And meet me in child's pose. Face down towards the mat. Connect your big toes together. Send your knees wide as you deem necessary for today and let your fingers crawl out in front of you. Forehead, third eye center into the mat. And gently press that area down. Hang out here for a second. Take really big breaths in and think about sending the breath to your low back. Open mouth, exhale, a little bit of belly constriction and engagement as you press the air out. Two more times like that. Inhale as much as you can. And open mouth, exhale. One more on your own, establishing your rhythm, your cadence for class. And then move into your ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Find a constriction or squeeze in the back of the throat, activating through the snoring muscles. And on your next inhale, rise to tabletop. Glide your shoulders over your wrists. Stack your knees under your hips. Go ahead and find a little movement through the spine here. Some days we find the same movement. Today, maybe venture into another, another type of movement. Maybe you usually go for circular movements of the spine. Maybe today you try right shoulder, right hip, and vice versa. And then come back to neutral tabletop. Extend your right arm in front of you and send your left leg behind you, nice and long for a bird dog. Restack right hip over right knee, flare through the right fingers and the left toes. Now go ahead and take your right hand behind your right ear, bend your left knee, and pulse up with the elbow and the foot for four, for three, nice and slow. Think squeeze at the top, two, and one. Kick high, lift your elbow, Take your right arm out and clockwise circle it around to grab your back foot. If you cannot connect to your back foot, that is fine. Just work on reaching and pulsing the heel in. Now what happens in this, we tend to dump into the low spine. Can you kick back like you were in dancer pose and drive your heart forward? Nice, Christina. All right, the releases work too. So squeeze your left heel towards your left glute and release so we don't slingshot. Back to your bird dog. Exhale, tabletop. Find a round of cat and cow. Exhale, chin to chest. Protract the shoulders. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your gaze, lift your belly, or your uh, tailbone, pardon me. Come back to neutral spine. Left hand forward, right leg back. Find strength here. So when we slow pulse, we'll be engaging the muscle group rather than just winging it and finding momentum, right? So take your left, left fingers by your left ear. Bend your right knee. Pulse up, squeeze, release, up, release. So we're strengthening through the right glute, outer glute, hamstring. We're also getting the left upper back involved too. Last one here. Sweep your left arm in a counterclockwise circle. Grab your right foot behind you. Again, if that is not accessible, it's a reach and a pulse of the heel in towards the glute. Go ahead and micro bend your right elbow. Lift your heart, drive your right shin back. Feel an opening through your left collarbone and your right quad. And then squeeze right heel to glute, preparing for release. It's slow and controlled. Drive your right heel back and your left hand forward. Take it on down to tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose. Chin to chest, hollow out through the belly. One more time through. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, press the ground away, cat pose. Come back to neutral spine, curl your toes under. Inhale, high plank, walk your feet back a couple steps. Protract the shoulders, hollow out through the armpits, and your gaze is slightly forward to keep a nice long spine. Drive your heels back, hug your inner thighs together, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
find your position, and then find a little movement, bending one knee and then the other. Maybe bending both knees. A couple breaths here. And then come to, into your steady downward facing dog. Maybe you bend your knees a little or a lot, totally fine. Can you lift your tailbone towards the sky and feel a deeper stretch through the upper hamstring? Press away from the ground, roll your shoulders out of your ears, and then melt your heart and your armpits towards your shin. Good. Take a step in with each foot for a short little down dog. Bend your knees a bit. Take your right hand to your left knee, or right below your left knee, your shin or your ankle, coming into a nice gentle twist. So keep your hips level, grab on wherever you are, and then roll your right shoulder slightly under. Maybe you gaze at your left armpit, maybe it's your tricep. Drive your left hip back, inhale for length. Exhale, maybe you twist a little deeper if it's safe in your back. And gently, slowly release back to your short down dog. Breath in and out. Left hand, wherever you did on the other side, if it was just below the knee, the shin, the calf, or the ankle. And gently roll your left shoulder under your right open. Pardon me, I got my necklace on my mouth. Ooh, clank, clank. <laughs> Let the rotation occur at the mid spine so your hips are level. Right hip draws back for neutrality through the pelvis. And then slowly come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, a bunch of little steps. Nice and easy. Feet hips with distance apart or wider. And allow this to create space in your low spine. So bend your knees a lot. Head is heavy down to the earth. Your neck is long. Send your breath to your low spine. And allow your head to pull the spine out of the pelvis, creating length between each vertebra. Heel toe your feet together. Big toes connect. Little space through the heels or feet hips with distance apart. Bend your knees a lot, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly rise to stand. Stacking vertebra upon vertebra. Roll your shoulders into your ears and together and down your back. Two more times. Roll them up and then together and down your back. One more, make it really exaggerative. All right. Inhale, mountain pose, arms tall, find your breath. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Hug your upper inner thighs together. Squeeze your shoulders down and then try to shine your armpits. That sounded silly, but try to press your armpits forward and notice how the side body turned on right there. Breathe in. Exhale, half moon to the right. Up and over, reach and stretch. Your variation for half moon, anything you'd like. If it's a push and press, maybe interlaced hands behind your back. Maybe it's a grab of the wrist or a steeple grip like traditional hot yoga. Up to you. What I'd really like you to make sure of, though, is that your hips and shoulders are square to the front space rather than opening slightly through the side body. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, up and over to the left side body stretch. Think about inhale, lengthening the spine out of the pelvis. And on the exhale, staying long through both side bodies, reaching up and over to lengthen. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, gentle back bend. Squeeze the shoulders behind your heart and then roll them down towards your hips. Hug your elbows together behind you. Hug your inner thighs together. Press your hips forward and allow the bend to come from behind the heart rather than in the low spine. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, ride it on down. Inhale, halfway lift, pause and breathe. Hands to your shins or your quads, bend your knees a little or a lot. Try to fire up the back line, the posterior line of your legs. So hug your inner thighs together, there it is. Pack your outer hips in and push into your point of contact so that your low back arches ever so slightly, kind of like cow pose. Inhale, exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step it back, breathe here. Set yourself up nice and strong. Hug your inner thighs together. And then gently take your tailbone towards the earth. So it's not a super tuck, but it's lengthening through the low spine. And then lift the pelvic floor, navel the spine, squeeze your hip tips together. Inhale, hinge forward, shoulders past your fingers. Exhale, bend your elbows 90 degrees or less into the rib cage. Hold for four. Option to come down to your knees for three. Look out in front of your mat for two. And all the way down, one. Standard Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Toenails to the earth. Zip up your inner thighs. Hands and chest line. 
Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head forward and then lift the back of the heart to the sky. So two part inhale. On the exhale, you'll lower, but you're staying nice and engaged. Think, think, squeeze your elbow tips together behind you. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen, crown the head forward, and then lift. Exhale, you'll lower, elbows squeeze together behind you. Feel your low back get super strong. One more. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, this time, all the way down to the mat. Curl your toes under or press into your knees. Inhale, high plank or all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice and simple, sunny today. Let's move through it, breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yeah, Susan. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach tall. Exhale, side body stretch to the right, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side body to the left, press your hips over to the right. Inhale, back to center mountain. Exhale, gentle back bend, hips forward, weight and heels. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, bend your elbows all the way down to the ground. One inhale, one cobra, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, release down. Inhale, high plank, all fours, your choice every time. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath to movement, sun A. Option for high to low plank with an up dog or a cobra, ladies, your choice. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, root to rise. Press and reach. Exhale, half moon variation over to the right. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, gentle back bend. Squeeze shoulders under you. Elbows magnetized together. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Or hold your high plank. Elbows into the rib cage if you're lowering. Inhale, up dog, high plank or cobra. Lift your knees and up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, walk or step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach tall, and find your breath. Once again, think posterior line, not just the legs, but the back too. Can you sh uh, shrug your shoulders down your back to energize the upper body? Yeah? And then sit a little lower to reinvigorate the back line. We've been doing this in class the last couple of weeks, and I'm just a big old fan, so we're going to do it again, okay? Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, chaturanga arms, elbows into your side bodies, fingers flare in front of you. And then sit lower, 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 standing crow. Knees to your triceps, triceps to knees. Yes, inhale, chair. Yeah, I don't know why I love these so much. Exhale, standing crow, flare your fingers wide. Inhale, chair pose. You have one more. Exhale, standing crow. Think of engaging just as much as you do in crow pose. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank or not. Inhale, wherever you are, big, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-leg dog, right heel rises. Pause for a moment. Press equally through both hands. Make sure your right hip is in line with the left. So maybe even draw chin to chest and see if you can make contact with your right pinky toe and try to dial that sucker down. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrist, chin to chest. Inhale, three-leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Press the ground away, hollow out through the armpits for four. Low lunge, three, two, one. Feel free to drag the foot in between the hands. Inhale, modified pyramid. So your left heel stays exactly where it is, and your right leg straightens as much as you deem necessary today. Remember, if you feel pulling behind the knee at the sit bone attachment, go ahead and place a big bend or a little bend into your front knee. Drive your left heel back. Feel a stretch through the left calf muscles. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, back to low lunge. Whew. Inhale, crescent. Come on up. 
Take your time, settle in as you breathe. Hands to hips, level out. Micro bend of left knee, so our tailbone anchors down rather than arching backwards. Stack your hands over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, breathe in. Exhale, full airplane. Hands come behind you to help launch you forward. Lift your left foot up and draw your heart towards the front of your mat. Breathe. Dial your left hip down, but pull your right hip crease back. Engage through your right inner thigh. Lift up and out of the hip socket. Use the muscles. Inhale, one leg mountain, straight leg or bent, and breathe. Flare your left toes, whatever variation you are in. Level through your hips. Maybe even hands come to the hips for a moment. Secret of balancing, one of them, is to micro bend the standing leg and hug the muscles in towards the bone. So think pack outer hip in, hug right inner thigh in, and then maybe begin to straighten. But that's a nice little help for that balance. Inhale, reach. Exhale, figure four. Left ankle over right, quadricep, and sit as low as your left outer hip allows. So here, we often just focus on the left outer hip being the point of sensation, which it, should, which, it, which it is, right? But I also today want you to think about squeezing your left heel towards your right hip. So we get the inner thigh adductors turned on and engaged. So we want both things, an opening through the outer hip and a strengthening through the left inner thigh. Flare your left toes. Exhale, maybe you sit a little lower. Nice, Susan. Inhale, back to one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. So through this transition, squeeze your left heel towards your glute. Think of a bicep curl, and then slowly extend back behind you. Breathe. So your heart is at a 45-degree angle along with your left heel through the crown of the head. Hands behind you, squeeze the pinkies together, and then try to draw your belly up and away from your right quadricep. Inhale, warrior two, sweep it open, leave your right foot where it is, and let your left foot adjust. Okay, right toes point forward, left toes parallel to the back of your mat, or 45 degrees tilt, shoulders over hips, arms outstretched, nice and strong, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together and down your back, and notice if your tricep just engaged when you do that. That's good. <laughs> Good. Breathe in. Exhale, extend in sight angle, reach forward, and then arm six and 12. Connect with your breath. Squeeze your heels together. Feel a stretch and strengthen through the right inner thigh. Right outer hip is engaged. Press down through the right big toe mound and nice edge of foot. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand high, and breathe. Little to no weight in your left hand. Your gaze is your choice as long as the neck is long and it does not hinder Squeeze your heels together once more. Relax your toes. Inhale into your right lung. Exhale, high to low plank. Windmill down. Step back without a noise if you can. And remember that chaturanga is always an option, not a necessity. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog. Left heel rises. Pause. Drive your right heel down for a little bit of a stretch of the calf muscle, maybe even the hamstring. Left inner thigh rolls towards the sky. Flare your left toes and engage the entire left leg. Inhale again. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. We're holding. Keep breathing. You're on your right tippy toes for four. Press down through the index knuckle. Three, two, one. Low lunge. The inhale is a modified long pyramid. So right heel stays a little lifted off the ground. Drive your right hip forward, your left hip back, and think about scissoring the inner thighs towards one another. Remember, you can bend your knee if it's too much, okay? Breathe in again, half lift spine if you've got it. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, tall on Janayasana, and breathe. Settle it on in. Right hip pulls forward, left comes back. Try to lift your right hip in line with the left. And then lift your pelvic floor. Notice how you're able to find a little bit of lift through the entire body when you activate those muscles. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane. Press your heart forward. Lift your right leg behind you and breathe. Remember, your airplane, you can be down here with your toes on the ground. Just keep your spine nice and long and in an angle, right? So wherever our foot goes, we want to have that same line in the spine, okay? Engage your right toes, point, point, however, helps you stabilize. And then your upper body helps to stabilize the lower body. So roll your shoulders out of your ears. Drive energy out through the fingertips. Nice, Susan. Inhale, one leg mountain. Straight or bent leg. 
It's up to you. Find your breath. Ooh, my right hip flexor is like, no, not straight today. Get it, Christina, I like it. Flare your right toes, roll your shoulders down your back, and find your one point of focus in front of you to help stabilize the body. Is your left outer glute on? Can you turn on the left thigh glute too, where the glute meets the thigh? Breathe in. Exhale, figure four, right, right ankle over left knee, and sit as low as you can without pain, okay? Remember, squeeze right heel towards you to get the inner thigh engaged. And that also helps protect the right knee when we flare the toes and have the whole foot active. Heart high, press your hands together, level your hips. On this side, I know my right hip needs to come forward and slightly down. Exhale for depth. Inhale, one leg mountain, Nekapada Sadasana. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arm, squeeze heel to glute, hamstring curl, and then extension behind you, feather touch the right toes down. Take that moment here to settle in. Are your hips level? Can you draw your belly up and away from the earth for more stabilization? Are you clenching, clenching through your jaw? Are you clenching your left toe? Can you release? Inhale, slow warrior two, left foot stay stable, let the right foot adjust. The left foot can move a little bit, but not when there's a lot of weight. We don't want to move it side to side. So be really mindful of the front leg when we move through that transition. Squeeze your heels together. Press down through the big toe mound. And notice 360 degrees of your legs just engaged when you did that. Good. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right hip drives forward. Actually, that was extended side angle. Pardon me. There we go. Woo. Press your left knee open. Roll your right shoulder down your back and try to find really long side bodies as you find more lift towards the sky. Now inhale reverse warrior, left hand reaches, breathe. Now that right hip can drive forward and your left hip can drive up. Think about side bodies being nice and strong and long. It's a side body stretch rather than a back bend. So can you lengthen your tailbone towards the ground? Notice your right outer glute might have just whoop, turned on right there. Breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank if you're taking it. Otherwise, hold your high plank or come down to your knees. Inhale, up dog, high plank or cobra, heart forward and up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find a generous breath in and a huge release out. Two more, breathe in. Let it go. Last one on your own. And then after that last breath, come back to your ujjayi breath and we'll flow breast movements through our sunbee today. Inhale, three leg dog, right heel high. Exhale, knee, nose, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid as deep as you want. Exhale, back to low lunge. Scissor the inner thighs together. Inhale, tall crescent. Exhale, launch forward, airplane, Dakasana. Flare your left toes, please. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four, hands pressed together at heart center for balance. Rise up. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms, slow, controlled. You're flying and you land softly. Beautiful, Christina. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Into the right hip we go, find engagement there. Inhale, reverse warrior. Shift your hips ever so gently. Exhale, take it on through, high to low. Elbows, rib cage, protect your shoulder heads. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-leg dog, left heel rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, tall anjane, rise. Exhale, airplane, heart forward. Make it proud, make it strong. Inhale, one-leg mountain, soft bend, left knee. Pass your outer hip in. Exhale, figure four. Hand pressed together will help you balance. Inhale, one-leg mountain. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Curl it in, extend it out and back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, left knee presses open. Inhale, reverse warrior, look high. Exhale, high to low plank, breath to movement. Exhale, you lower. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find a breath in. And an ujjayi breath out. Let's add on, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step, jump, float, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, for fold. 
Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach tall. Settle in. Settle in. So sometimes we get here and we're like, whoa, uh-oh. <coughs> Pardon me. Can you make it less uh-oh and more I need to remember to breathe here, right? I get into some of these poses and I'm like, and I stop breathing, and that's why it becomes worse, because I'm not regulating my breath, regulating my heart rate. Let's have a little fun. A couple more of those standing crows, yeah? Inhale, reach in your chair. Exhale, standing crow, triceps to your knees. Inhale, standing chair, or chair. <laughs> Exhale, standing crow, little ball. One more. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing crow for four. Engage your core. Hug your inner thighs towards one another for three. Hug your elbows in, two, one. Inhale, mountain pose, rise. Nice work, ladies. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Your exhale is crow prep. Hands about six inches in front of your toes. Come to your tippy toes, knees into your triceps. Spiral your elbow ditches forward. Think chaturanga. And then maybe you hang out right here. And this is a great place to hang out because knees on triceps doesn't entirely feel amazing. If you want a little more, you can begin to rock forward and back. But remember, you need to look out and down rather than straight down, because where our gaze goes, we go. If we look straight down, we may tumble forward, which is okay. You're not super far from the ground. For four, we meet in downward facing dog three. If you'd like to step back, you absolutely can. If you'd like that vinyasa, go ahead. Two, and if you want the float back, land with bent elbows, please. One. Inhale wherever you are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, right heel lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid and breathe. Walk your left foot up a step and out a step. And we're going to move into a, you have the option to move into a bigger variation or a deeper variation as um, then uh, pyramid, the modified pyramid. Sorry, there's a little, I have a little friend on my block. Okay, find a half lift spine, left hip forward, right hip back. I'm using my blocks because I'm super tight through my hamstrings today. Drive your left heel down. And then if you have the space and you'd like to melt over your right leg, you can, but try to make sure we're not rounding and crunching. We're finding this nice, beautiful flat spine. Inhale, half lift in your pyramid. Walk your left foot back. Inhale, tall crescent. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, and one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. All right, we're going to do that three more times as a drill for the right outer hip and to help with balance. Your toes can come down any old time, okay? And remember, your hands help you balance, okay? So inhale, one leg mountain. Maybe push your hands together overhead. Exhale, airplane, bend into your right knee. Again, inhale, one leg mountain, right outer hip's gonna be warm, it's okay. Exhale, figure four. One more time, and we get a little break. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, airplane, drive your heart forward, your foot back. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four, breathe. Ooh. If you have those blocks and you'd like to come down, hands to the blocks, awesome maybe hands to your shin. Please don't forget the squeeze of your left heel towards you, the flare of the left toes. Yeah, Christina knows where we're going. If you wanna place your hands to the ground, you have that much space today, you absolutely can. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. I'm super tight today. All right, whatever serves you, I just would like you to breathe. I see you, Susan, nice twist. Yeah, Christina for four. One leg mountain pose in three. You have two, one, press your hands together. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Woo, give that right leg a break. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse the warrior, reach tall. Exhale, high to low plank if you want it. You know where we're meeting, downward facing dog. Please breathe in here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick, left heel. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid, then walk your right foot up, maybe out a little. If you use blocks on the first side, bring the, the ground closer to you. Please feel free to do that here. Pay attention to what's going on in your left knee, your left um, 
sit bone, so there's no aggressive pulling in that area. We want it to be the belly of the hamstring and the calf. Find that halfway lift spine, roll your shoulders back, hollow out through your pelvis. So lift your pelvic floor, navel to spine, and that's what's going to help you fold forward even more. If you want to, you don't have to. Inhale, lift, half lift spine. Walk your right foot back, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, tall crescent. Exhale, airplane, right toes, launch your heart forward into space. Yes, inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. Two more times, ladies, yes you can. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, airplane, use your left leg muscles rather than dumping into the bone structure. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four, one more, you're almost there. Keep your breath controlled, breathe in. Exhale, airplane, shine your heart forward. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. Oh, there it is. All right, so play around, explore. Maybe your hands can touch on this side and you're like, wait a minute, that's weird. That's okay. We just know that we might want to hold a little longer when we're opening the left outer hip next time. Maybe, maybe not. A couple breaths here to settle in. Trying to mimic that variation you took on the first side for balance and equanimity. Coming back to one leg mountain in four, three, two, one. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Ooh, my left leg's like, stop it. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Little break for that left leg. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, or not. Meet me in downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, float through to a seat, or walk through to your seat. If you'd like a little water, feel free to grab it. Otherwise, maybe on your back. All right, let's start with figure four crunches. So right ankle over left knee. Your left foot can stay down. You can draw your left knee to 90 degrees, reverse tabletop, or you can straighten your left leg, okay? Fingers behind your ears lightly, elbows nice and wide. Exhale, lift up and hold. See if you can flare your right toes even more and to press your right knee open. Squeeze your right heel towards your belly to get the inner thigh engaged. Little lift up, up. Exhale, exhale, navel to spine, lift. Think of the lift, not so much the lower, it'll take care of itself. It's lift, lift, exhale. Widen your elbows for four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, lifted, lifted. Left elbow, right knee twist. Come back to center. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, and come back to center. Just a couple of these. Try to keep both shoulder blades lifted off the ground each time you rotate. We have four. Flare your toes. Two. And one. Slowly shoulders down, feet down. Unwind your legs. Left ankle over right knee. Find the variation on the other side. And let's do this. Fingers behind your ears. Lift up and hold. Now, tighten through the core. Someone's about to pounce. You want to... Someone's going to sucker punch you. No, not really. But you want that nice engagement there. Press your left knee open as much as comfortable. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Try to make the movement from the heart rather than your neck lifting and straining through that area. Okay? Up, up. Exhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one. One, right elbow, left knee, and across, center. Across, center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Are you gri gripping your teeth? Try to let go. Open mouth exhales, release a little stress, a little bit of heat for four, three, two, woo. And one, shoulders down, gently unwind your legs. Full body stretch, full body stretch. Let your belly get big. Let it stretch out a little bit when you do that. All right. 
knees into your chest, roll side to side for a moment. And then rock and roll the length of your spine, boat pose. Ah, okay. So actually let's do these. I did these today and they were, they were awesome. Um, I'll see if I can demo them. So it's like a boat, hands behind you, and then your legs come up. So we're gonna keep our hands down. So we're to separate the toes, tap them down to the edges of your mat, and then lift them up to touch. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Your legs can absolutely bend. If you can try to keep them straight, that's great. For four, three, two, and one. Feet together, squeeze your inner thighs. Take both toes to the right of your mat, tap the heels down, lift up, tap to the left. It's up, tap, up, and tap. For four, three, two, and one. Straighten your legs for a moment. And find a reverse tabletop or reverse print plank. Fingers towards your toes. Press your feet into the ground, lift your hips roll your shoulders down and back. If that's not accessible or does not feel amazing, reverse tabletop. Ooh, tight shoulders, y'all. There it is. Slowly lower down. We have one more boat variation. You can keep your hands behind you, absolutely. Keep your spine nice and long. Roll onto your sit bones, feet. The knees can be parallel to the ground. You can straighten them. I recommend here so we don't burn out just yet. Now, Flatten your hands in front of you, knees to your triceps. It's crane pose. Ah. Inhale, lower low boat. Exhale, crane pose. Inhale, lower low boat. Exhale, crane, knees widen. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Your pace, your movement, make sure your back stays flat. We only have four more. Last two. Nice, Christina. And one, hold boat, hold boat for four, three, look up, two, one, all the way down to the ground. Oh. Woo. All right, full body stretch, open mouth exhale for a moment. Knees into your chest, roll side to side. Rock and roll, we meet in a forward fold, however you want to get there. If you want to roll over to your side, press yourself up through supported fetal position, maybe grab a sip of water. I love that one. You can rock and roll, use your hands and come to stand. You can rock and roll, momentum, right? And maybe not use your hands, but I have to use my hands. So here you go. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crow pose, hands down, spread your fingers nice and wide. Index fingers point forward or middle fingers point forward. Begin to draw your heart forward. In our arm balances, we have to have as much weight in front of or as, as we have behind for most. And then maybe draw your toes a little closer to your glutes. Four, three, two, one, feet down. Inhale, halfway lift. Roll your wrists out, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one leg mountain, right leg rises. Let's go into our peak pose today, which is flying pigeon pose. Exhale, figure four. Let's talk through it together. So if your hands did not reach the ground when you're in figure four, that is okay. You're working on hip opening. You're working on balancing. If you have blocks, you can take those blocks under your hands. And this is where you hang out, right? Working on opening through the outer hip, working on balancing through the right knee. If you can touch the blocks and they're in their low setting, maybe you can take your hands to the ground and that might be where you hang out as well. What I would like you to do is if you're here, stay. If you know you have a little more space, maybe we can, can touch the ground because you bend your left knee, do that. I'm gonna face you so you can see. I hook my foot, this right foot right here, is hooked around my left tricep and I flare the toes and pull. And then I press my tricep back into that foot. It's a game. It's a tug, of, a tug of war, okay? Right knee into the right tricep, as high as you can get it, just like your crow pose. And then just like crow, we begin to roll forward and we roll back, okay? So from the side, we're rolling forward. And maybe our toe stays down. That's okay. Push and pull, left tricep, right foot. And then maybe we hug the left heel into our glute. 
maybe we begin to work on lowering, lowering the heart and the left foot lifts maybe one day. Wherever you are, hold for three breaths. Slowly come back. Figure four, nice and slow. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, mountain pose. Maybe some of the heat, hands to heart center, wiggle it out. Find your breath if you've lost it. Another side. Inhale, left leg high, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. All right. So I know this side, super tight. So I'm going to use my blocks for this one, for this demo, because it's easier on my left outer hip. So figure four. The, the triceps comes, the tricep comes, right tricep, pardon me, comes to the top of the left foot. Remember that tug of war. I flare my toes into the arm. I press my arm back into the toes. Left knee, left tricep. And then I begin to play right here. Okay. I have my hands on the blocks to bring the floor closer. Maybe I lift my heel into my glutes. Maybe I lower my heart a little bit and extend the back leg. Okay? Remember, A, B, C, and D, they're still the posture. They're variations of the pose. You are working the aspect. You do not have to move into full variation. Do so in your own time. Okay? And again, my left outer hip. I'm going to hang out here. <laughs> Maybe back in figure four and four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, hands, heart, center, close your eyes. Maybe a little hip wiggle side to side. Maybe you shake it out completely. Do what restores your breath and a little bit of your peace here, okay? Just like any moment outside of your mat, off your mat, things can get a little crazy. You always have the space to come back to and be like, nope, I'm gonna breathe for a second. And notice how things change a lot when you do that. All right, inhale one leg, one mountain pose, not one leg. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank if you want it. Otherwise, hold your high plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel for down dog kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Walk your left foot up a step, out a step, 45 degree tilt. Left foot seals to the ground and come on up. Breathe. Hips are working to be square to the front of the room. Your heart works over, not over, but like right before your right quad. So we're nice and square with the shoulders and the hips. Arms reach tall. Press your hands together for prayer. And then squeeze your shoulders down your back and feel all the engagement of the arm muscles. Breathe in here. Exhale, airplane your arms airplane your arms. So it's like a crescent lunge, but not, right? Our left foot is spun and sealed to the floor. You might feel a really awesome calf stretch here. If it feels good, drive your left heel down a little bit more. Spiral your left inner thigh behind you. Exhale again. Inhale, full pyramid. Press your right hip back, left hip forward. Begin to straighten through your right leg. Hinge forward, flat spine. Maybe your hands come to your right shin. Maybe you've got those blocks and that's where they come. If you can get your hands to the ground, just be really careful of overdoing it into the right hamstring and the right attachment and try to find spider tip fingers for a flat back. Find your breath, level your hips, left hip forward, right hip back. All right. If your hands are rooted solid, like to a block or to the ground and you're not on spider tip fingers or your right shin, you can reach your right arm up and around for a revolved triangle. If you notice you gaze at your right thumb and your left hip drop down, go ahead and keep your gaze down to the ground. Roll your shoulder behind you. Squeeze your heels towards one another. Careful not to hyperextend right knee. It's a micro, micro bend. Inhale again. Exhale back to your pyramid. Walk your left foot back. Left foot back your bit foot, and come into your runner's lunge. So slide your left toes back, right heel on the mat, right toes off at a 45 degree angle, right knee over right ankle or ankle forward of knee, and then take the variation you need today, okay? Left toes can stay planted, knee lifted, down to left knee. If you'd like that quad stretch, squeeze left heel towards right glute, left glute. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you don't. 
If you decide to roll to the knife edge of your right foot, please, please, please flare your right toes. Notice that looks like figure four, it looks like pigeon. So we wanna be careful that we're protecting the knee. Slowly meet me back in base layer of your runner's lunge. Slowly, mindfully lift your left knee. Exhale your air here. <sighs> Inhale, side plank. Left hand's the foundation. Roll onto the knife edge of your left foot. Hug your right knee into your chest. Or you can step it back to high plank and then open to side plank. It's up to you here. Remember, you can come down to your left forearm. You can come down to your left knee. Find your variation of side plank. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel high, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Right foot steps in, out. Inhale, rise for Virabhadrasana, one warrior one. Palms touch over your head. And breathe. Press your hands together. Feel the activation of magnetizing your hands towards one another. Shoulders come down your back. Notice if your right knee feels good. If it doesn't, alter your stance, please. Right hip forward, left hip back. Lengthen your tailbone towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, airplane your torso. Breathe. So we're doing this first so we have the core engagement to keep the back flat so we don't round forward when we move into our pyramid. Squeeze your pinkies together. Drive your right heel into the ground. Spiral your right hip forward. Good. Inhale, pyramid. Straighten through your left leg. Hinge, 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 hinge at your hips. Grab your blocks. Grab the ground. Maybe bend your left knee. Yeah. I guess this side is just way tighter than my, my right side. Woo. All right, that's okay. We want to notice the differences and become aware of them so we can work to balance them. If we have no idea where we're tighter or looser, then we could be doing more harm than good. So we, it's really important to know and notice those differences. Hollow out through the belly, right hip forward, left hip back. Micro bend your knee if you need to, please, or big bend. That's okay. Inhale, lengthen. Stay for the breath out. If you have space to deepen, you may deepen. Inhale, revolved pyramid, left hand high. I'm going to keep my block just because this side's a little wonky. Left hand reaches up. Find your gaze, but lengthen through the crown of the head. Each inhale is from tailbone through crown of head. Lengthen, lengthen. The exhale, you don't have to look up. Roll your left shoulder down your back and find the twist through this mid spine here. Continue to drive the right heel down. If it's lifting, walk your foot in a step, please. Inhale. Exhale, hand down, move it into runner, oh, yeah, low lunge to runner's lunge, right foot steps back. Left heel on the mat, toes off. Replicate the sensation that you felt on the first side, best you can, best you can. Quad stretch as you did on the other side. Please remember to breathe. So in yoga, we put ourselves in these funky positions where our body's like, what are you doing? And then we're asked to breathe smoothly. But that replicates life off the mat. Like I said earlier, things get crazy on the mat, off the mat. But this is a really safe space to test that, right? To test our, our ability to come back to even breath, to test our ability to maintain calm, twist it up like a press ball. Release your right toes if you're in your quad stretch. Lift your right knee, come back into base layer, runner's lunge. Inhale, Vashisthasana, side plank, right hand, foundation. The variation you took on the other side. Knee down, forearm down. Lift your right hip higher for four. High plank, three. Breathe in, two. One, high plank, option for chaturanga or downward facing dog. Huge breath in. Big ujjayi breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step, jump, float to a seat or your feet. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> there it is. Go ahead and send your legs out in front. Actually, let's do a camel. We never do, I never do camel. I do not like camel. 
but that means I need to practice it more. Also, I don't like it. A lot of us don't because we live here. We're constantly here and we're like this all the time. So any little bit of rolling the shoulders back might feel like a huge heart opening. And if that's the case for you, then this is your heart opener today, okay? Come to stand on your knees. And then your inner thighs are what's going to keep us stable, okay? Try your best. I know you can't see, but you're going to think hips stay over knees. Squeeze the inner thighs together to activate the low core, but also to keep the legs nice and engaged, okay? One arm out and around behind you, fingers down. Left arm backstroke it, fingers down, okay? Hug your elbows together. Lift your heart. This is camel right here. And this feels like a lot. It does. Feel free to stay. Open mouth, exhale, rolling your shoulders together and down your back, hugging the elbows together. If you want more, look up. And then lift your heart, press your hips forward. Lift your heart, press your hips forward. Lift up and press forward. If you feel no crunching in your low back, you can feel that your hips are still forward over your knees. You can reach back and touch your heels. Press your hips forward, shoulders under heart. Open mouth, exhale for four, three. Hug your inner thighs together, two, and one. If you've reached for your heels, hands to low back, hands to low back, rise up. Sit down, hips to heels, close your eyes. Pull your shoulders together and down your back. Don't lose that openness we just created. Plug the shoulders together and down the back. Palms up to receive energy, palms down to release. And slowly sit onto your right hip, legs out in front of you, all the way down to your back. <sighs> Pardon me. Let's take a nice bridge pose. If, you're fam if you are familiar with wheel and you want another deep heart opener, by all means go into your wheel. Just be really careful about how you enter and exit. I will cue bridge because camel was a bit much for me today. <laughs> So feet do not, you do not have to be able to touch your heels here, but do make sure your feet are relatively close to your body. Press your palms into the earth, shoulders, triceps, elbows, forearms, hands, all down. And then think about tipping your pubic bone towards the sky. Notice how when we rock the pelvis forward, the low back presses into the ground. That's when you can initiate the lift of the spine, one vertebra at a time, until you're on your shoulders. You can keep your hands where they are. You can bend your elbows, fingers to the sky. You can chest expansion, grip behind you. But please just stay, keep your gaze high here. Without moving your knees, hug your inner thighs towards one another. Squeeze your outer hips lightly towards one another and lift your chin to the sky. One more breath in. And then just as we entered, notch of the spine, vertebra at a time, until your low back flattens to the ground. And then find fallen bridge, knees together, feet wide, or Supta Baddha Konasana, your choice here. One hand to your heart, one to your belly. Maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze. Big, generous breaths, allowing your belly to rise to the sky. And letting it fall on the exhale. Remember this space right here, this feeling, this calm. Always available to you. Just kind of come back to your breath. Maybe even just a five-minute timeout where you do a little bridge pose. Or you hang out in down dog. You find your breath. Slowly pull your knees into your chest. And extend your legs up the wall. Supine forward fold today. You can take your hands to your hamstrings behind your legs. You can take your hands maybe a little bit above or below the knees. Flare your feet towards the sky. Inhale, kick up and press forward, low back to the ground. Exhale, gently pull the legs back towards you. Working on a low spine neutralization. Inhale, kick up forward. Exhale, pull back. And gently release knees in your chest, roll side to side. We've done a lot of hip opening today. If you'd like to take a figure four, I know I am. Otherwise, you can take a standard um, supine twist today. For your standard supine twist, either both knees to the left, maybe one leg long, right knee hugs in. Today, maybe figure four, right ankle over left quad, interlace your hands at your left hamstring, right elbow presses out. Remember, you can always take your left knee to the ground and gently guide your right knee open. 
From here, gently roll onto your left hip. Figure four, supine twist or whatever, supine twist you're in. Just please keep your right shoulder close to the ground. Lift your pelvic floor, navel to your spine. Slowly roll your right hip crest back to the ground. Unwind your legs. Pull your knees into your chest. And we'll switch it out. Whatever you did on the first side, do that here. Whatever feels best in your body. Flare your toes if you are in figure four. When you feel even and you're ready, supine twist. Gently guide your knees over, across your body. Gently lift the pelvic floor muscles, navel into your spine, and roll onto your back. Unwind your legs, pull your knees into your chest, let your low back stay to the ground, shoulders back of the head, another spine neutralizer right here. For the last part of this hug, you feel free to dot your forehead to your knees, lift your shoulders, lift your tailbone, and then release into your surrender. Maybe it's legs up the wall today. Maybe it's Supabhata Konasana. Maybe it's a supported fish with your shoulder blades, whatever just resonates with you, go ahead and move there now. Close your eyes. I am watching the time. I'll let you know when it's time to go. Please just take these next couple beautiful breaths for you. You are welcome to stay exactly as you are. If your evening pulls you forward, begin to find gentle movements. Maybe it's a deepening of the breath. Maybe it's a little movement of the jaw side to side or the fingers. Whatever it is, it's gentle, it's mindful. And find a good morning stretch when you are ready. Point your toes, zip up your inner thighs, reach long ahead of you. Gently bend your knees, plant your feet to the ground, and roll on your left side. Bicep as a pillow for supported fetal position. Remember this space, this piece can be pulled into the world around you at any time. Give yourself those couple breaths, those couple moments, maybe even head below heart. You can find it. When you're ready, push yourself up to seated. Hands at heart center or hands down onto your knees. Find your easy seat. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today, for sharing your energy, for being a bright light in this community. I'm so grateful for you. Namaste. Thanks, ladies. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Oh, cancel. Recording. Stop.